And it's not logic to the mind, is it? We heard Dave Campbell share. You say a prayer, God, I am a sinner. I want to repent. I want you to be Lord and Saviour of my life. And something happens, doesn't it? Does it? Yes. Yes. To two of us it does, doesn't it? <laughs> something happens. It is not logic to, to, to man. It is not logic, but something in the spiritual realm happens. And, and it's, it's just amazing. It's amazing. And the greatest thing that every believer has a testimony to share them, as, in other words, as a story. You go to the news agents and buy now the magazines, the OK and all those magazines, and one of the full of stories, like Max, Max Bygrad used to say, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. We've got the best story, we've got the best story in the entire planet to tell. Do you know that? Got the best story in the entire planet to tell what Jesus has done for me. You, you can't tell him what he's done for me. You've got to tell him what he's done for you. So we can all say, this is what he's done for me. And do you know something? How often is great about that? There's not one person on you know, this entire planet who can take that story away from you. Isn't that great? There's not one person on the entire planet who can take that story away from you, even though there's people who do, but can't. Because it's true to you. It's your personal story. Wow. Also, a testimony is the written or spoken record of anything that God has done, and every part of that record becomes your family history the moment you are born again. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. The moment you become born again, you're part of the family history of God. Yeah. Wow. Psalm 119, verse 111. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. Everything that's in this book belongs to every believer. We are part of that book. That's what it means. Isn't that fantastic? We are part of the book. <coughs> wow. Then about you. I, I get excited about that. <laughs> David is saying that every story of every miracle or sign that God has ever performed, it is your story as well because you have become related to the God who made them happen. He's your dad, as I said last week, have a father. The testimonies of God are the tools that equip you and me to walk in our purpose and to demonstrate what God is really like. Mm -hmm. I'll say that again. The testimonies of God are the tools that equip you and me to walk in our purpose and to demonstrate what God is really like. Testimonies of God or stories of God reveal the nature of God and how he does things. It's called his way or his ways. That's what it's called, his ways. It also creates an expectation in our hearts for God's ways. I don't know about you, but when I hear a story of what God has done in somebody's life, I am so, so pleased. It's as if it's happened to me. That's how we should be at. You know that? If you don't react like that, you're sad. And you need to repent and say to God, I want to be so happy for so and so because something's happened to them great and it's as if it's happened to me. And if you don't think like that, that this morning, you better go on your knees and pray and say, God, I'm sorry. Because we should be so pleased for every single person when God does something for them. Well, it creates an expectation in our hearts for God's ways to be manifested in our lives. The Hebrew root word for testimony means do again. That's what it means. Wow. Our cry today is do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord. Do it again, Lord. Is that your cry? Do it again. That's what it means. Do it again, Lord. Every record of what God has done in every generation's past is a promise of what he will do again in our lives. 
That's what it means. And he's saying, Steve, how do you know that? Because the Bible tells me that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah? So what he's done in the past, he will do again. And great, isn't it? Fantastic. And that's why I believe what he's doing. He's restoring the church to what it should be like. That every single day we see people come to know him as Lord and Saviour. Every single day we see people who are not well, well. Yeah? Because that's what his word says. If we don't believe it, well, we say his words lie, aren't we? But that's what his word says. The testimonies of God are what connect each success, succeeding generation of believers and to his covenant promises. Okay? The stories of God are what connects us to our kids, to our grandkids and our grandkids' grandkids. And, do you know what I'm trying to say? And all before. It's the stories of God what connects us. God put specific instructions in the law of Moses for the people of Israel to rehearse the, test, the testimony on a daily basis and to teach their children. That's what he done. The children of Israel also had to build memorial stones, such as the ones they were command, com commanded to set up crossing the River Jordan into the Promised Land. This represented what God had done. So God had told them, as they crossed, when Joshua went like that, Moses had done it years and years before, 40 years before, yeah? Joshua went and done the same miracle, and now God said, go and build a memorial of this. And you say, well, why? Listen to this. I just love this. Because you're also connecting future generations to God's promises. Yeah? When the children of the next generation pass by these stones and ask the back them, their parents would be able to give what? Test, test, and testimony of what God had done for them. So there they were, the kids were walking. Mom, Dad, what's all these stones here for? What's these stones here for? And then they would be able to share how great is our God. Yeah. Wow, isn't that fantastic? How great is our God. It is so good to share our stories with other people. I don't know about you, but since this new outpouring in, Lake, in Lakeland, it's so easy to share with people about what's going, what's, going, what's going on. I can't believe the number of unbelievers who were putting on God Channel or the internet and staying up to one or two o'clock at night to watch what's going on. It's incredible. There was a woman at Yvonne's place and she shared, and this, and this, is, a, a, this is amazing, right? That her husband suffers exactly the same problem I had 13, 14 years, year, and years ago. And she was able to share this week. And it all came, I think, I'm, 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 I'm writing this. They must have been watching the Lake, Lakeland, right? And so Yvonne shared. So she, she shared about her husband, and Yvonne said, Steve had, had that 13, year, 13 years ago, but God healed him. Wow, what a 